space, because actually this is where poems begin, right? They're rooted and they grow and we have to rummage around for it and it gets messy and we get it beneath our fingernails, so it's appropriate that we have all of this surrounding us. Jarell Ben is a Trinidadian poet currently making Brooklyn her home. Her poetry often borders on song influenced by singer-songwriters Lauren Hill and Michelle Andege Ocello, and ranges from sexy stories of lesbian love, a la her favorite poet, Stacey Ann Chin, to insightful observations of world events. She once opened for the popular alternative hip-hop group Diggable Planets, and recently featured at the famed Dixon Place in the Hot Festival's Electrified Gender, an evening celebrating the spectrum of gender and sexualities through burlesque, spoken word, and performance art. You are in for a treat. Please welcome Rally. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, wow. Um, I just want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the Inspired Word. Thank you, Mike Geffner and the Sixth Street Garden for hosting and supporting this event. Thank you so much. Everybody give yourselves a round of applause because you're beautiful and I'm, I'm very happy to be here right now. Um, so while my good friend Kalisha sets up, I'm going to read you guys a poem entitled May. And um, I just want to give you a little background. When I, whenever I'm going through something, whenever I need inspiration, whenever I need a pick-me-up, this is something that I basically read to myself. So it's called May. <coughs> Yesterday, the past. Redundant words circle my conscience. Walking with my head face towards the ground, I am lonely. These words that push me further and further until I am no more, nothing, that is me, and no one around says any different. As my gaze meets the floor, I notice peculiar things. Leaves fallen from glorious trees, they are crumpled and defeated, ripped from the comforts of a home. Moisture collects, dampening the remaining shredded and ugly pieces. I stare at my companions, leaves plastered to the concrete. We are one with the earth, disconnected from this world where no one bothers to look down, and yet they look down upon us. They look down upon me. The crowd appears. They are faceless sheep with high heels and glistening shoe-shined hush puppies. They are monsters in their judgment and harsh words. You shiver in the wind and I long to comfort you, to scoop the bits and pieces left intact and carefully carry you home in my shallow pocket. Sneakers and boots, they mark you and crush you, hold you down and keep you there. I watch in silence. Today, when I return, there will be no leaves. The cold, empty ground will yield no fragrance, no e evidence of your existence. I will lay in your place. They will walk on me, keep me down as they always have. Invisible to the bustling herd, I am submissive to their abuse. Complacent in my position, I stare up at the sky, at the outstretched branches with an abundance of thriving emerald leaves. Today, I will surely die. They will trample me with their open mouths and closed minds. Tomorrow, I will be reborn, resurrected, healthy, and green, looking down on the world and above it all. Thank you. Okay, um, and I want you guys to give it up for a good friend of mine. We went to high school together. She's very talented, and she's gonna be um, playing a little something with me. Give it up for Kalisha. This is called Love Storm. They say bad breath stems from the tongue. So I hold mine and keep my mouth closed tight. So you won't smell the stench of these words, the dank fragrance of my envious conviction. If I 
and the water that flows freely through your fingers, then you are the air that I force from my lungs, and he is the earth hardened beneath my feet. Unlike you, I have no fascination with nature's violence and find absolutely no beauty in the cold, hard soil. Yesterday, you kissed my face and said everything would be okay. We are all nature, you insisted, lifting your hands to the sky. Like a beautiful whirlwind, easily captivating my fluid element. Dancing within your tornado, I showered you with all my love. Water combined with air, needing no fire to ignite the affair. It was the rainbow after the storm that caught the eye of wind and stole its form. The tears fell for countless days, and so in my misery I became the rain, flooding many cities while expressing raw rage, wanting so badly for the earth to feel my pain. The damage caused by the storm opened my eyes to the truth. You are both sweet air and toxic fumes. The earth may hold your interest, but like a whisper in the air, it is fleeting and thin. We were fools to think you could ever cage the wild wind. Thank you. And um, thank you, thank you very much. Give it up for Kalisha, that was called Love Storm. Uh, I wanna let you guys know, I'll be sticking around till after the show, you can see me. Um, I have some shows coming up. I have uh, a poets only showcase coming up at Local 61 with uh, the very talented uh, lead collaborator of a group called Epic 12. And let me tell